Hi everybody, I hope you're well. Uh, today we'll take a look at the marvelous Miss in America, edited by Phyllis Lambert and published by the Canadian Center for Architecture and the Whitney Museum of American Art in 2001. Voice of the People Although I applaud the Illinois Institute of Technology's plans to revitalize its campus, I question the fact that its architect, Ram Kohas, would be allowed to attach his building to Miss Award-winning Commons building, altering it in such a way that it no longer retains its pristine and elegant symmetry. Certainly the building, now being ignored, is eligible for landmark status. It is not too late to save the Commons building from one tongue defacement. Signed, John Vinci. Ram Kulhas, mistakes, trouble. According to statistics, a student and his or her parents decide within five minutes of arrival whether to apply to a given university or not. With that test, Miss IIT campus is in trouble. The IIT campus is a masterpiece invisible to the contemporary eye. Miss work has become unnoticeable without explanation. Signature. To reverse its decline in popularity, a competition for a new student center was organized in 1997. In their entries, shifted south from the geographical center of the campus to face Crown Hall directly, Zaha Hadid and Peter Eisenman ignore Miss meditation on the generic in favor of unique and heroic architectures that propose a radical departure for the campus. Is Miss the greatness sustainable next to the average late 20th century masterpiece? Can the typical survive uh, the signature in the first five minutes even? Cleaning. I do not respect Miss. I love Miss. I have studied Miss, excavated Miss, reassembled Miss. I have even cleaned Miss. Because I do not revere Miss, I am at odds with his admirers. Urbanism. It is a mistake to read Miss as a master of the freestanding or the autonomous. Miss, without context, is like a fish out of water. The iconography of Le Corbusier would dispense with neighbors or even the city. Miss would be unimaginable without them. In his collages and models, context is annexed to support his campaigns. The villas of the 1930s can be read not as single entities, but as fragments of an urban condition. Miss is Roman. The Berlin villas fit together as effortlessly as their twins in Pompeii. No one, especially in Chicago, talks about Miss' quality as an urbanist. It is the beautiful ambiguity of the IIT campus that the status of its building substance oscillates between object and tissue, that its modules imply potential extension yet and emphatically, that its structures hover between recessive foreground and prominent background. The IIT campus was conceived in 1939, built initially by Mies from 1942 to 1958 and finished by his acolytes from 1958 to 1968. In the preliminary master plan, Mies used a wall of linear, generic buildings to frame a courtyard that receives two crown hall prototypes. The generic is used as setting for set pieces. In the definitive plan, the background buildings become foreground, setting a set piece. Miss does not design individual buildings, but a formless condition that can manifest itself as building anywhere and be recombined in an infinite number of configurations. Marooned. In its current form, Miss IIT is marooned. The true crisis of IIT is not its relative neglect, but the disappearance of the city around it, Chicago. This brutal cancellation has turned the campus into a metaphorical tabula rasa surrounded by a real tabula rasa. The disappearance of the city has pulled the rug out from underneath the mist. Marooned 2 The commons building is lost in a no man's land, a building in a void doubly marooned within the larger space wreck of the IIT campus. The commons was intended as an object in a designed context. 
Since its construction, the strip that faced Miss uh, Campus on the east side of State Street has been derelict and is now completely abandoned to parking. The encounter between the lone Miss Box and the rocket of the passing L train is as absurd as Lottermont's encounter between the umbrella and the sewing machine, a surrealist pastiche. Without context, the commons has become a non-event. Fundraising The commons started as a failure of fundraising. Due to the inability of IIT to raise funds for the student union, a pendant to the library as one of the two buildings of a public character on the campus, the commons scavenged many of the functions allotted to the student union, and due to Miss' deep frustration, Crown Hall became the great symbolic presence of the campus rather than the student union. The original Commons project called for an amenities center for the IIT campus, including a dining hall, grocery, barber shop, and laundry, possibly even as an open air development. Uninterested in the program, Miss left the design to Gene Summers, uh, the project architect, refusing to consider the project until Summers proposed creating an enclosed shopping mall. Loyalty. Can respect kill? Miss needs to be protected from his defenders. In 1986, the Barcelona Pavilion was reconstructed in color. Through its resurrection, its aura was killed. In architectural history, it remains stubbornly black and white. The mid-1980s coincided with the initial apotheosis of the market economy. Coincidence? Was Miss used as city marketing? from homage to offense in the name of memory and respect. In the market economy, shopping sustains the urban domain. A large section of the pavilion is now a souvenir shop. How has Mies been treated throughout the world? The Barcelona pavilion has been rebuilt and is now a major attraction, wrote John Vinci, the most vocal opponent of OMA's design, in an open letter submitted to IIT in defense of the commons. Solution. Incorporating the commons into the student center generated context and bulk. The adjustments necessary for this new coexistence were a fraction of the abuse the building had already undergone. In fact, by connecting it to our project, we could generate the dollars to restore it. Together, the consolidated student center became an urban block that could begin to re-establish the intended Misian dialectic between fullness and emptiness, city and campus. Solution number two. Years after its apparently indifferent conception and subsequent neglect, the commons became a masterpiece overnight, simply through the thread of OMA's touch. Vinci. What about those of us who have to live with this kind of vandalism? What about the future of preservation? End quote. A preference for the embalmed over the authentic has fueled American culture in the 1990s. Instead of using the commons in a robust way, our critics proposed turning it into a visitor center to enshrine its retroactive dignity. Final solution for the mission to save from life, rescue by tourism. Vinci, there are functions more compatible with the commons that would not abuse its architecture. Why not consider putting the university club and misinformation center in the commons along with other compatible services? It would be a wonderful place to experience miss architecture. End quote. Disengagement. Negotiations were launched concerned with minimizing an engagement that could bring new vitality. Illinois Historic Preservation Agency The treatment of the immediate setting of the Commons building is key to minimizing the effect of the new design on the historic building. End quote. Each breakfast with the Missians brought new suggestions for disengagement, uncoupling. And from Vinci Please tell Kulhas that I am not some monster trying to destroy him. Someday I will have to face him and I don't want to have to punch him in the nose. Ask that Kulhas move his building to base of the commons building to the south. This will not change his plans and cost any more. Food courtship 
Others enjoy freedoms that are unavailable to the architect. As OMA was struggling with history, IIT left the food consultant free range to speculate about reconfiguring Miss as a contemporary food court. Their sketches were breathtaking in their daring, energy, innocence, but they were unreadable on architects' radar. Only architects can defile architecture. Proximity In all my visits to Chicago I learned only one new thing from the Missians, or actually two. One, Miss had received a letter from Hugh Hefner once uh, asking him to do the Playboy headquarters. Miss had said no for reasons no longer accessible. Two, Miss model shop had a frequently exploited view of the photo studios of Playboy magazine. All during the 1950s and 60s, Miss architecture and the first generation of Playmates had been fabricated in voyeuristic proximity. It is exactly that kind of proximity that we proposed for the student center and the commons, and which the Missians wanted to undo. Lapidary. Maybe it is a law that dogmas are defined by those who are most prone to violate them. Miss work had an essence of formlessness, amorphousness, nothingness, perversion and anxiety behind a stealth shield of serenity. By never explaining himself except in the most lapidary terms, Mies condemned all of us, especially his intimates, to second-guess his motives. Mies is too easily misread. To what extent is Mies, his pronouncements, his example, his method, his aura, to blame for his own misreading? Mies fusion of the sublime and the generic into a new hybrid was a form of alchemy, a laboratory experiment that could never be duplicated by others, never be verified. Mies is a science purely based on belief. Is the source responsible for the intelligence of the followers? Could Mies have avoided the dissemination of the box that, in the 1960s and 1970s, threatened to take the essence of the original in an avalanche of reproduction? Education can always be read as a plot. It may be that Mies at IIT was always a little too encouraging of the generic, preferring to keep the sublime to himself. Conundrum The image is a conundrum. After at least 26 years of accumulated scrutiny, it has yet to reveal the secret of its impact. It is the only photograph of the minerals and metal research building in circulation. How did Mies exercise so much control? Is there any other modern architect who so insists on perspective? Is Mies the huge figure near the colossal doors? What is the significance of the voluptuous scar? self-abuse. Yet, Mies was not against modification. In 1956, long before the debate over the commons, Mies' office had already extended the Minerals and Metal Research Building with unsentimental bluntness. Mies' watch. In the meantime, close scrutiny reveals that the commons had undergone a shocking number of modifications without audible protest from the architectural community. From 1953 to 1999, more than 30 interventions were undertaken in the original commons. Drain pipes, machinery plant room on the roof, an endless series of abuses. The interior was completely unrecognizable. Glass had become a sheetrock, a small symmetrical pavilion acquired asymmetrical bulk to function as a pizza parlor. A building once pristine in its compositional order and volumetric integrity had been drastically modified by casual platforms placed on the roof. Air conditioning units indifferently appended, drain pipes wreaking havoc on symmetries. In a way, it was a triumph of the Misian will. Anything can be or become anything. The commons survived with an Olympian impassivity vis-à-vis -vis the encroachment of the pragmatic, the flux of real life. The entire transformation took place on his acolyte's Miss watch. Their obliviousness allowed alterations by others, electricians, food experts, to remain outside the meticulously preserved limits of architectural consciousness.
According to Vinci, to this date, no successive architect has considered annexing or altering any of Mies' original architecture. End quote. Defaced. Where is Mies more beautiful? Defaced or restored? As a ruin or reconstitution? The commons could be read in two ways. A surprisingly accommodating, elegant shed intended by Mies to be common? to absorb whatever iterations of student life are thrown up, to undergo brutal retrofits, each unit an addition to an ultimately aleatory, forever unfinished composition, or a pathetically martyred icon, full of wounds, scars, legible degradations. In the first reading, it retroactively becomes part of the student center. The saintly scenario can only culminate in its second coming. Epilogue, July 26, 2000. Miss Forces lose preservation battle over new IIT building. Come by the bookstore and ask for Miss in America in consultation. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.